Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. In this video we will talk about what characteristic features the Scandinavian style has in landscape design, what techniques can be used in the implementation of the concept, what techniques are created to form the desired atmosphere. Landscaping helps to make the local area very cozy and well-groomed. A special love for nature is felt in its design. And this does not happen by chance. In the Scandinavian countries, the summer is very short and their inhabitants are eager to enjoy its beauty. Characteristic features of the northern direction To make everything work out as needed, experts use basic techniques when creating a Scandinavian garden. Landscaping of the site should be at the same time – simple, restrained, orderly, functional and natural. When drawing up a plan, it is important to take into account not only the general features of the direction, but also the mentality of the people living in the northern part of Europe. They live where summer is very short and winter takes two-thirds of the year. Outside the window during this period, snow drifts and grey fog. The soil warms up badly. Therefore, the local landscape stones, mosses and low trees. Grass and shrubs are pleasing to the eye only for a short time. Norwegians and Finns, Swedes and Danes value it, so they try to decorate their plots with at least some kind of greenery. They cannot plant bright flowers, lush plants, fruit, trees. Anything that grows helps create a uniform landscape design. You can add colors to it using bright decorations. That is why in the Scandinavian garden there are always wooden sculptures, stone compositions, small architectural forms, arches, wooden arbors, benches. General landscaping is formed with evergreen conifers. The Scandinavians give them unusual shapes, make sculptures or living fences of them, square green rooms or simply multi-tired structures that significantly unliving the exterior. They are located in a small area. Very often, only on five acres you can see paths lined with stone, small green lawns, group plantings of conifers and dwarf trees, as well as vegetation that resembles the vegetation of a wild forest. The Scandinavian fence is lost in it. It is often made of food, so landscaping looks quite natural against its background. Closer to the house, fenced-in flower beds are being broken. Alongside the paths, original benches are lined up. They can pick up an evenly trimmed hedge with their backs. Unlike the regular style, this Scandinavian garden does not have a clear geometric pattern. This will explain why designers consider the described direction to the classic and lively. It is constantly changing, but its main features have become well recognizable. The Scandinavian style is ideal for those who own an area where plants grow and develop poorly. In this case, experts recommend decorating parts of the territory with stone boulders and making them the central part of the design. But here it is important to observe the aesthetics and not collect alpine slides. There should not be many stones in a Scandinavian garden, only large boulders of the same size, laid next to each other, or compositions formed from flat stones stacked in the form of step will look good. If you use a material of different type and origin, it will turn out very beautifully. Everything will do – large cobblestone, colorful granite, sea pebbles, polished in a natural way. With it, you can make a path running like a snake across the green lawn. Let her rest against one single boulder, center of happiness. If the garden is properly decorated, guests walking around the site will appreciate a find like this. It is good to put a light-colored bench next to the boulder. Then it will be pleasant to rest on it and enjoy a friendly conversation. 
In the described style, paths paved with stones of different sizes are often used. This is another characteristic feature of the style. Shapes are irregular or have large elevation differences. In addition to them, you can put stone arches, form quarters, and run a stream along them. Complex stone compositions can act as a fence. Experts recommend using a tree as a companion. The combination of two natural materials makes it possible to obtain very beautiful and functional objects that can become the centerpiece of a Scandinavian garden. It is important to learn one more distinctive feature of the described direction. When implementing the concept, it is necessary to use all the characteristic features of the natural site. If you choose Scandinavian style, you do not need to create landscaping from scratch. It is better to beat what is already there in the desired style. There is no need to uproot a wooden stump. It can act as a stand for a flower pot. A red wood with a halo can be easily transformed into an art object with effort. It can be decorated like an owl house, put a bird figure in on a dried twig, and hang a flower pot. If you put a gnome or a troll under such a tree, the overall picture will definitely add up. Furniture It is necessarily present in the gardens of peoples living in the northern countries of Europe. It does not use plastic garden furniture. Most often, rattan chairs or sofas, wrought metal headsets are purchased. Items made by waving vines may appear next to them. Baskets, supplies, trays – they are not just decorations. All items are used for their intended purpose. With the help of them, some interesting compositions are created. For example, flowers in Scandinavian are rarely planted in the soil. Most often they are planted in wicker pots. They are exhibited outside for the summer and then brought home in cold weather. A Scandinavian-style garden may have a vegetable garden. Here, it looks more like flower beds with clear boundaries formed by stone cobblestones. The neat vegetable beds have a strict geometric shape. The paths between them are covered with sand. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.